Okay, the onions, they're cooking. Boy, are they cooking. Look at, come on down, let's take a peek at these onions real quick. Um, you see how they are now? They're soft. A little bit softer because the yeah, onions, they're not going to cook as much in the baking casserole. All right, so now we're going to take the, I added stock to this once or twice in probably about 10 minutes. They've been sitting here cooking since I came, uh, since I left you and came right back. So... That's how much more time the onions need to cook. So if you're making this at home, obviously you start the onions first if you're not doing them all at the same time, you know. All right. So we're going to dump the onions and the juice all over that. And now we're going to take this here and we're going to mix it up. And get a good shot in there on that, what that looks like, Richard. Not too bad tilting it. All right. So it's kind of dry looking. Now that's the point that I wanted to make to you now, but I'm going to make sure I get it thoroughly mixed up. So any juice that is in there is kind of well distributed. Now, when I look at this, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to taste a piece of bread. I get an idea what the whole stuffing is going to end up tasting like. Now, it tastes good right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more juice to this. Because my experience of making this tells me that I'm looking for a certain texture right now so that my final texture will be good, okay? Now, that's still just a little bit dry. I'm going to add just a pinch more chicken stock here. And that's good enough. Now, what's going to happen is this is going to um, moisten in the... Uh, the, the pyrexes that I'm going to bake them in, you know. So let's see if we can get that in there now. Hold on. That might be a little bit tricky for my poor cameraman, Richard, but that's the way it's going to have to be. Okay, there's one. Get that piece of salt in there. And let's see if... And get that one in there like that. I figured we might need like two little containers here for this, okay? Okay. Now, there you go. Now, some people might say, hey, put some butter on there. Now, I don't think you're going to need that here. Because I'm going to tell you about a couple of more tricks in finishing it after it's baked. But for right now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plastic wrap them. And then I'm going to put foil on it because I want it sealed when I'm baking it in the oven, okay? So let's get some plastic wrap on both of these right now. Now you're probably asking yourself, you can't put the plastic wrap in the oven. Well, I have news for you. You can, okay? as long as you have it covered up with foil. Now, if you were baking this at 200 degrees, which I'm not recommending that you do, you could put it in the, in the oven and not put foil on it, and the plastic wrap would still hold up pretty well. Now we're going to put a little foil on there. Now, one of the things I usually do when I put the foil on is I want to fold the foil on rather than crunch it like this with my hands because I want to be able to unfold the foil without ripping it when I want to peek inside to see if it's done, okay? So you see how I'm folding the foil on? That way I'll be able to unfold it. And you're going to see me unfold this after we get these out of the oven. Okay, there's one. You know, I suppose sometimes you got uh, people sitting down at big dinners and they got the table for the kids separate from the adults and maybe you'll end up with two little buffets here. Who knows? So I'm going to pop these in the oven now and I'm going to bake them off uh, 
at 350 to 400. Remember, we're really not cooking this per se, even though we are going to be bombarding it with heat, uh, which is all that's going to be taking place inside these pans. But it's going to be steaming a little bit, moisturizing, and condensing slightly. We're going to know when this is done, uh, but when we open up the foil, and we're going to see if the bread is soft. If all the bread is soft, but not soggy, we don't want to cook it that long, um, then it's time to take it out. And then when we do take it out, we're going to strip the tops off so it starts to cool fast. We don't want to keep it cooking by leaving it in the containers. So for now, we're going to pop it in the oven. And this is probably going to take, uh, depending on your oven, and if you happen to have anything else in it, sometimes you have other things in the same oven when you're making these kind of meals. Um, I would say you're probably going to have it in there for about half an hour to 45 minutes. I'm going to bring you back, and we're going to take a peek inside the oven uh, and press on the bread a little bit together to see if we think that a level of doneness is uh, where it's supposed to be. Because this is really not about you listening to my recipe and me saying, take it out in 45 minutes. I'm going to go in there and show you how to know when it's done. And uh, I always say when people say, well, when should I take it out? And I always say, well, take it out when it's done. They always look at me like, that's not the answer I want. But the fact is, this video and... All of my videos are about teaching you the how-to, not the what-to. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes to check on the bread stuffing. All right, we're going to take a peek at that stuffing in the oven and test it and do some of that unfolding of the foil thing I was talking to you about. All right, let's pop this open. See how that just kind of unfolds real nice, but I didn't have to rip the foil. Now, I'm going to... Pull the plastic crap off. I think the, I said, as I might say, the lion's share of the cooking has been done. This has been in here about 20 minutes. I brought you back faster than 30 minutes. But it's not quite done yet. So you don't have to reseal it completely, but I managed to do that with the plastic wrap. It's just, a, it's not quite soft enough yet, the bread. So I'm going to refold the foil back on. So the plastic wrap doesn't melt on it. We'll stick it back in there. We'll come back in about 15 more minutes. Just about guaranteed it'll be done then. So I'll see you back here at the stove in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, the stuffing, it's got to be done. I'm going to pull it out of the oven. We're going to test it up here. Hey, 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 that's hot. All right, let's take a peek at this now. See, this bread's kind of nice and soft here now. That's nice. All right, let's... See how that plastic wrap is not melted and did not stick to that pan whatsoever? I always hear people saying, you can't put the plastic wrap in there, but you can, as long as you cover it up. You can even put it in there, like I said before, uh, when it's, uh, the temperature is not that high in the oven. This looks nice. Now, traditionally, of course, the stuffing is put in a separate bowl. So I'm going to put some in a separate bowl just for fun. Don't you think for one second that me and the people that are involved in filming this video are not going to eat all of this stuffing? Because we are, no doubt about it. That looks nice. Okay. That looks very nice. So, so if I just wanted to, if it was me in my house, I'd put drizzle a little bit of gravy on that where I'm going to serve it. And I'd put, I would probably put, and I, this is going against the wills of a lot of people, I'd probably put a little pinch of cranberry on there just for fun. And I'd probably sprinkle it with a little bit of chopped parsley. And I think everybody would love that, you know. That looks really nice. So there's your stuffing served on the table like that. But if you should happen to have a turkey laying around, which I just happen to have, of course, if you click on the turkey videos, you'll see how we put this turkey together here. But let me see if I can get a little bit of stuffing. That thing is so hot. Let me see if I can get a little bit of stuffing right onto my turkey platter here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Mm, I'll stick some over there. And let's stick some over here. And as you know, we put two of these in the oven. So let's just pull this other guy out. This is the littler one of the two. And that one looks good also. That's nice. Yes, 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 yes. And I'll take a little bit of that stuffing too, maybe. Stick that back here. Now, if you want to do the whole turkey presentation with your stuffing, what I would probably do is I got cranberry, I've got stuffing, I've got turkey. Now, I've even got a little of this on the whole package just so that people don't have to reach around the table for everything just to give a little finishing touch on there nice 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 now maybe a little bit of parsley over the whole thing now we're talking turkey here i hope you get a chance to eat one of these because that's what we're going to do when we get done shooting this video have a great dinner no matter whether it's thanksgiving or just Anytime. Bye.